technology or fun stuff. So on the audio system, on the limiteds, we're going to have standard, a new 7-inch high-definition touchscreen that has a customizable home screen, much like some of our other Intune units. It's going to give you, yeah, this is one of my favorite bands, but um, it's going to give you a lot better, uh, clearer definition. This is also available on the XLE and SE. Audio systems, so with all our tortoises, and they all come standard with an Intune audio. There's various levels of it. The one I want to call your attention to is in the middle. The one that's Intune Audio Plus with connected navigation. What's big about this is if you're familiar with our new Scout and GPS link that we're using, customers can download the Scout GPS app link on their phone for free. If they have this audio system on the middle grade, they're going to be able to use their cell phone based data plan, project that app onto their screen of their car, and get an affordable navigation system that gives them turn by turn direction, traffic based information, and also voice recognition control through their steering wheel. Customers don't always want the premium level. They may want navigation even on the LE and the XLE. So even on the LE, it's an available option for that Intune Audio Plus. Ultimately, all grades of RAV4 have available or standard navigation, and that's important. It's not just on the premium ones. There's always going to be a market for customers that don't want their cell phone out, that just want integrated navigation, and that's why it's still there on the upper grades. Intune Premium Audio, and we actually have a representative from JBL here today, Fee, he's in the back. He will be out here for the entire wave today and tomorrow. He can give you a demonstration of the system if you've never heard it and want to know more about it. Ultimately, it's an available upgrade on our SEs and our Limiteds. It's going to take you from six speakers to 11 green edge speakers, including a subwoofer, and it also has a JBL amplifier. So that's our most premium audio system that's available in our upper grades. Bird's eye view camera we brought out in a little bit of material back in New York, uh, back in April. There's a video on our site, the press website, as well as YouTube channel. It's about a two minute video that shows the full functionality of this. But just for reference today, it's the first of its kind in some ways. It actually has a perimeter scan, which you just saw, that moving 360 view that happens when you start the vehicle up. You also could do it a view that's as if the driver's perspective is as if the car panels were clear. That's also something we can see today. So it gives you 360 degree around your car. It also has an overhead view when you're driving at speeds about under seven miles an hour and forward or reverse with dynamic grid lines, front and rear, park sonar front and rear is built into it. You also have a curb view so you can see both curbs and parking lines and where your wheels are. The one thing on the overhead view that's cool too is since it's a high definition one, you can actually zoom in on all four corners to get a better look at what you're about to come up to. What's unique on it, at least in this segment, is that it's a truly panoramic view. One of our competitors offers this, but it's four separate images with hard black lines and some blind or blurry spots. This is a seamless panoramic view just like if you were using your cell phone to make a panel picture. It's going to give you 360, no lines, no seams, and high definition. I'll be out there today if you want to test it out. There's also a track at El Toro that's specifically meant to test this out, and it's the button right next to your emergency flasher. It's a little camera indicator. Some people call it a coffee cup, I'll be honest. But you're you see it today, it looks like a camera. New adjustments. So the lift gate is very important on this kind of segment. A lot of people like a power lift gate. We only had it standard unlimited last year and available on XLE. Well, now it's standard on XLE and above. The one cool thing that I like about it is customers could always adjust the height and still can using the memory settings on the back, using the button combination. Sometimes it's a little tricky, especially if customers don't do it very often or there's multiple drivers. So what customers can do now for the first time is built in with your new MID and four-way switch, you can control this and set it in six selectable <coughs> settings very easily. So whether it's the customer or the dealership, less hassle in trying to adjust the height. Maybe it's the height of the driver, maybe it's the height of how much overhang they have in their garage. This is going to allow them to set it to what they need very easily, making it much simpler for them.